so we're moving tomorrow. <laughs> are you are you ready, Alex? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> At least the movers came in today to help us pack everything and tomorrow. But we still spent like a whole day yesterday. Yeah, like we didn't want to take a lot of junk with us, so we actually cleaned up. It's like you know, before cleaners come, you clean the house. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what we did for the movers. Before the movers came, we cleaned well, up. We organized, so we don't take everything that we don't need there, and then we would have to cleanse there. So this is gonna be the fifth time we're moving in the five years we've been together, like married together. I got five years. So house every year. House number five. So the first one was the condo where we lived with your mom. Yeah. Then it was uh, the townhouse that we rented from Layla. Then it was the house we bought in Toronto. Then it was this flat here where we lived for a year. No, more than a year. Than Almost a year. Uh, year and a half. At least a year, eight months even. Yeah, and now it's going to be a new and flat. This is, this is the longest we actually stayed somewhere. And we mm -hmm. didn't think when we moved in here, we're like, you know what? I don't think this is going to last. Yeah. But it lasted. Yeah. Two days packing and unpacking. <laughs> what I'm learning from all this mess is that the less stuff you have, the better you live. Get rid of stuff. <laughs> we already got rid of so much stuff, but there's still boxes and boxes of Let's things to go stuff. through. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to unpacking and once everything's beautiful, Someday, hopefully in the near future, we'll show you guys. So I'm here with two beautiful girls, <laughs> Kezia <laughs> and Shirley. Nice to meet you They guys. came to visit me today, so mm -hmm. we had really nice time mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. chatting Chatting's. for like hours and yeah. hours. Nice. Get Literally <laughs> talking. <laughs> Get the and three. having a good lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys That's enjoy good. it? I love yeah, the salmon. Yeah. yeah so lunch. I've been telling Shirley also to start vlogging more often. Yeah. Yeah. I have her camera, but I just I'm. It's like literally got so much dust on it, and I'm just I need to just bring start it out and start vlogging. Again. So yeah, I will. I will. Yeah, Shirley has such a great personality. Oh. Like you need to let it shine more through camera. <laughs> Not that I vlog that much, but I'm slowly getting into it, and I really enjoy it because I think you know it just creates such such more personal yeah. contact with me and you guys yeah. watching. It just mm -hmm. it's, I feel more connected with you guys even through your comments. You get to know me more personally, mm -hmm. and I I just think it's great to be able to do that. To live in a time where we have like YouTube, which I'm so grateful for, yeah. that allows us to sure. really have our own channel, <laughs> literally, right? Sure. So, uh, yeah, surely. I will start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing it. I know. Yeah. I well. feel optimistic. It's always good just hanging out with Mimi because Mimi just always brings out like the best in you. Ah. I, I feel like oh, I can be optimistic. I'm today. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Kezzy, get in here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just there, like literally walking ahead. But yeah. And Kezzy has an awesome channel too. She's doing cooking. <laughs> and these two girls are doing a, a really good health challenge. Can I talk about this? Yeah. Yes, sure. Or is it private for now? Hi, you go ahead. Yeah. I'm gonna get my vlog camera today. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm really excited for that. You'll have to follow their channels to get more on that. Mm -hmm. It's springtime, almost summer, so it's a great time to start something healthy and change your life for the better. I think there couldn't be a better time than now. Yeah. Hey everyone. <laughs> it's Alex here today. It's Alex here today. I'm taking over Mimi's uh, camera, showing you guys around London. So our we don't have car, so our transport is bicycles. So I mean, where's it? Where's your ride? I don't know, I'm gonna choose one that I, I don't have to reach I know, up. we have these fobs. They used to be called Barclay Cycles Boris bikes, but now they're these red bikes. That's the key. And I still like the blue bikes a lot more. The Barclays bikes were better. So, yeah, so we'll see what adventures await. We're gonna go to the east end from the west. Mimi's very excited. <laughs> I have to raise my seat very high because I'm a tall guy. <laughs> you really don't need to reach out that much. All right, got it. Mimi's matching her bike actually okay. with her yeah. with her blazer a little bit. All right, let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. Mimi's first. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Some rules, 
So cyclist dismount, she's not following. Oh, they say no cameras here. Wait, 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 we gotta go up. Yeah, this is the, where the princess lives and Prince William Kate, some babies. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> A lot of people today. Kensington Palace. Is it here in the UK you bike on the left side, just like to drive on the left side? I know, but the thing is there's so many tourists they don't get it. <laughs> so it's really you bike on both sides. There's a lot of traffic today. Mimi's cutting off some people. So if you see Mimi on a bike in London. You can wave at me, then I'll wave back. I can only bike with two hands, guys, so I'm gonna try to hold myself. But yeah, I'm pay attention to the road. And you can see the shark here as well. It's a really beautiful ride here. And it's quite long. I mean, it takes about, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes to get to Soho, which is a really great workout at the same time. Oh, traffic. Sunday, so you have the whole road. It's right near the Buckingham Palace, so the Queen is like, that's her backyard right there. I'll show you where the Queen lives. Yeah, she's a neighbor, you know. She invites us for tea sometimes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't want you to know. Right, come over for tea, please. <laughs> Gluten free, please. <laughs> A lot of people today, there's the Buckingham Palace, there's my queen. There's always a big commotion around here. I know, so many people. I think she's at home today, right? If the flag is up? In the center, there's Big Ben. We are now on foot. Mimi is like, where are you taking me? She's always uh, excited about my filming when I take over the camera. So we just got to East London only to discover that all the stores are closed early. Or, I check. Or not even open on Sunday. So Alex, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> I don't know, there's a bunch of uh, really nice places around to eat. <laughs> I'm not even hungry, but we'll go have, to have a yeah, drink. We'll just have a drink. We'll have some tea. tea. When we say we're gonna have a drink, we mean yeah, like non-alcoholic drink because we, non we don't drink alcohol. So yeah. we'll have like tea or coffee. But, yeah, but you know, we discovered a lot of places, new places along. Mm -hmm. I feel like I went to a different city today while we were riding. We discovered so many new spots. It's like, you know, being in a completely different place. And as we were biking, I was also thinking, you know, as you bike, you go on different roads and like you get lost. I know, good good for you today for to like, because <laughs> usually Mimi doesn't go on big roads, but she's, today she's like, yeah, whatever, let's do it. And big like, roads and oh, small God, roads it. too. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of big roads, small roads. But as I was biking, I was thinking, you know, how important it is sometimes in life to just go out and get lost in your own city? Because it's like the same in life, you know, sometimes we'll get lost, but getting lost is just an important process because once you get lost the next step will be you'll be found so it's like life you know it's important to get lost because through getting lost you're gonna be found if that makes sense does that make sense i i think so and for me like i said it's all about the journey <laughs> we came to john lewis um which is a furniture well not furniture it's like a department store with all kinds of stuff to look at some furniture and here's alex testing the couch what do you think alex Okay. You're not impressed. It's, it's soft. yeah, it's a bit weird because of this couch, it's a sectional. It's not really a sectional because it's like cubes. It's like separate cubes. 
that make it look like a sectional, which is cool, I guess, because you can put it apart. But uh, I don't know. Our guests won't be impressed when they'll have to sleep on that. <laughs> to bake some apples so today we're gonna bake some apples I've got all the ingredients here already I'm gonna be using some organic apples I personally don't have a preference as to what kind of apple to use I use all kinds I just make sure that it's organic because with apples you eating the skin you always want to make sure that you don't buy the conventional one because they use a lot of pesticides and all that jazz um, next thing we're gonna use you know what I'm not gonna go through the ingredients I think I'll just go into it and then you'll see what I'll be adding because otherwise the video will be too long and this is gonna go into the vlog, so we don't wanna make it too long. So the first thing I'm gonna do is kinda of stabilize my apples. Sometimes I'll cut the bottom as well a little bit, um, just like a tiny bit, so that it's firm. As long as it can stand, sometimes it stands on its own, then you don't need to cut it. And then the next thing you wanna do is cut the top of the apple, just like that. So that's the first step. Maybe I'll show you one and then I'll continue doing it on the other. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this cave inside of the apple. This is a little tool that my friend Patricia gave me. I don't know exactly what it's called. If you do, leave me a comment down below. It's actually for strawberries to scoop out the little leaf, but I use it to scoop out this apple core. If I don't have this thing, sometimes I'm traveling or whatnot, I just use a knife and I just kind of cut it through the apple and I take the core out. But right now, to make it easier, I'm just gonna use this little tool, which is super awesome. So all you're doing is you're sort of creating some space so that you can add stuffing. All right, so just gonna continue doing this and I'm gonna quickly speed it up. I honestly think the main magical ingredient of the stuffed apple is this hazelnut butter which I think is delicious and tastes just like Nutella but much healthier. So I'm gonna just get the oil out first. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take about a teaspoon of this mixture which is, it's not smooth, it's um, crunchy hazelnut butter but you can use smooth. So I'll put about a teaspoon, sometimes two depending on the size of the apple. This one can fit too, it's a big one. Mmm, it's just amazing. So once it all melts, it just tastes so good. So the next thing I'll do is I'll add some um, sunflower seeds. Then I'm gonna add some goji berries. I have this here. And goji berries are really, really good for you as well. Okay. Then I'm gonna add some blueberries. Again, depends. it all depends on the size of the apple, so if it's big, you can add more. If it's small, you can't really add much. <laughs> just kind of stuff it like that. And the last step for me, usually, is just sprinkling some co coconut flakes on top of this apple. And that is it. I mean, I'm going to do the same thing to the rest, but again, I'm, I just want to mention that at this point, it's optional. You can add some lemon juice just to add some more liquid so when it bakes, it doesn't become crusty. Also, you can add honey or maple syrup. I personally just bake it as is. Sometimes maybe I'll sprinkle a little bit of water on top. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of the apples and then we're going to bake them. I sound so serious. <laughs> it's the chef Mimi talking. Chef Mimi voice. <laughs> All right, so let's decor this. Stop the ball. Don't know what I did it for. 
All right, so now we're gonna bake them. I already preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 177 Celsius. And I'm using, you can use bake. I'm using conventional bake because I feel like that way it kind of makes the apple or whatever you're baking a bit more juicy. So yeah, my oven is already hot, it's already on. I'm just gonna put this in and then Again, it depends on how long, it depends on the apple, it depends on the size of the apple. I would say it takes usually about 15 minutes to sometimes half an hour, again, depending on how strong your oven is. So I would say keep an eye on the apples. So anytime after 15 minutes, it could be ready. So you can like just poke it and see if it is. Uh, oops. What happened here? All right, so we're just gonna insert this. Oh no, don't fall. And wait for it to bake. So it's been about 25 minutes, I would say, and it looks like the apples are ready. I just want to, oof, it's hot. I just want to show you what they look like. So you can see a lot of the juice came out. And, you know, sometimes you can just touch it, you can see it's soft. I don't recommend touching it with your fingers, it's hot. But maybe just poke it with a fork. So, yeah, voila. Baked apple party at the office. I brought them here. Uh, Kat, would you like to have some? Yes, please. Mimi, Mimi surprised us. I don't know what's. It going honestly on. smells like a, just a baked apple pie. It smells amazing. Yeah, what I want to hear. Where's the, where's the tea though? Where's the, where's the tea? Yeah. I have hot tea. I have hot tea. Zali has 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 tea. Z